Hey guys, it's Sarah Damone, and this is behind the lyrics of my song, Finally Free. <clears throat> what I thought was living was no more than the dead. I dug myself a hole and buried the heart you made for my soul. My brain felt like stones, eroded and heavy, cemented to the ground, and relying on me to break myself out. So for this first verse, um, it's kind of just basically realizing that everything that I have lived before wasn't actually living because I was kind of setting myself up to, sounds a little harsh, but kind of like rotten hell, <laughs> because I didn't have Jesus. So after this life, I was just gonna, I was just gonna go to hell. I wasn't saved. And so what I thought was living, it, it was not. It was no more than the dead. It was no more than the fire and the screaming. And, and so then I'm just explaining that I personally dug, dug myself into this hole. I rejected God for several years and even there were times where I would be like, God's not real or I would just, I would say crazy stuff that um, just, you know, it, it, it held me down and I was in super uh, heavy and that's kind of like when I was talking about uh, my brain, you know, feeling like stones eroded and heavy. I felt very worn down, which is why I explained it through eroded, and then heavy, just, just you know, uh, not only was I in a hole, but I was like stuck in that hole, so that's where that, that came, and then, you know, just relying on myself to come out of that. I knew that I was depressed, I knew that I wasn't happy, but I was, I thought that I could do it. Thank you for loving the way that you do. I am filled with these blessings. They all come from you. I'm not sure why I'm chosen. I sure why it's me, but I sure won't look back cause I'm finally free. Oh, oh. I sure won't look back cause I'm finally free. And then for the chorus, uh, I'm just thanking God because I don't know why after years of shutting him out of my life that all of a sudden he was like, no, I'm actually gonna save you. Like, why would he save me? But it's, it's what God does. It's, you know, he has unconditional love for us. And so I'm just thanking him for that. And I'm saying that I don't know why I'm chosen. You know, I don't know why God has done this for me and has blessed me with a life where I could do this, where I could sing songs about him and record lyric meetings and everything like that. I, I don't know why he did it, but I'm just grateful. I was insisted on shading on your life, prideful and profane, disguised with a beautiful smile on my face. You knew I was yours. I can no longer hide it. And as I became my worst, you swooped in and ripped me right up from the dirt. The second verse kind of continues the idea of just being insistent about not wanting God in my life. Um, you know, and something that I, something about this verse that I like a lot is that I say, disguised with a beautiful smile on my face. I think that a lot of people, you know, when they see a smile or they see people being happy or doing what they love, you know, they just think they're so happy. And I was doing what I loved. I've been doing music forever, but I still wasn't the happiest person that I could be. And I was actually not happy at all. So. It was all disguised by a smile, but it's all painful inside, you know? God knew that I was his, and I wound up realizing that I, I was his, and that I've kind of always felt like I was his. And I remember being like 12 years old and being so curious about God and praying and like receiving um, confirmation about God and from God, and I just kind of ignored it. But 
as I got older, I was like, no, I really am supposed to be living for Jesus and it completely changed my perspective. And so I said, as I became the worst that I could be, uh, God swooped me right up. And by worst, it's funny, I really don't mean like necessarily doing anything really um, horrible, but kind of just like getting closer and closer to, you know, the whole like new age, new age practices versus practices of Christianity. So um, a lot of the time I was believing in like the universe or, you know, other types of things that um, were not Jesus. So as I became farther and farther away from him and closer to those things, although I might have felt okay and I was like kind of on, thought I was on stable ground, I think that that's the worst when, when the devil can make you feel comfortable. Um, so that's what I consider the worst and he, he grabbed me, but yeah. Thank you for loving the way that you do. I am filled with these blessings. They all come from you. I'm not sure why I'm chosen. I sure why it's me, but I sure won't look back cause I'm finally free. Oh, 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 but I sure won't look back cause I'm finally free. Now I stand on top of the grave that I laid and I will not go back till I die someday. I'll find myself with eternal life where all things are free and the devil can't bite. Now I stand on top of the grave that I laid and I will not go back till I die someday. I'll find myself with eternal life, all things are free and the devil can't bite. And then for this bridge, I refer back to that hole that I dug, that grave, and I just say that, um, you know, now I stand on top of the grave that I once laid in, and I definitely will not go back until it's the grave that happens once I die. So it's no longer a grave about, um, you know, being dug close to the close to hell or to the ground or to the devil it's kind of just like nope I'm out of that grave and then someone could put me in a, you know a different grave when I die but I'm never going back to that old one um, uh, and I just you know I'm saying that I find myself with eternal eternal life um, where all things are free and the devil can no longer bite me make me feel bad about anything and can no longer just be the devil he has no power over me at that point so yeah. Uh, ooh, 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 but I sure won't look back cause I'm finally free. I sure won't look back cause I'm finally free. I sure won't look back cause I'm finally free. Thank you guys so much for watching Behind the Lyrics of Finally Free, and I hope you all enjoyed.